Today's wet weather is just what firefighters needed to knock down some of the flames burning in southern Oregon. Crews now moving in to make headway on the front lines. As News 10's Whitney Clark tells us in tonight's top story at 6, the increased activity means an increased need for medics. 1100 firefighters on the front lines of the big windy fire right behind them on the line medics keeping them safe in areas so remote you can only get there by raft. I've had experience where we had to you know bring a helicopter in and hoist somebody out who had who had been injured. Um, fortunately you know that doesn't happen that often and that's why we'd like to keep it. So. Craig Robertson in charge of keeping crews safe. He's the medical unit leader at the fire camp where there are a dozen paramedics and EMTs spread across the nearly 24,000 acre fire. All of them trained the same way as the crews. It, it's good having somebody who has the knowledge of how things work on the fire line as opposed to somebody who maybe just works out of an ambulance. Since the Big Windy started a month ago, there has been one death. Jesse Trader was killed when the water tanker he was driving rolled down an embankment. The focus now, making sure everyone doesn't get complacent with safety precautions, something Robertson says can happen with fires that take months to fight. With complacency, it oftentimes comes uh, increased chance of injury or accidents. These EMTs getting briefed in the medical unit on what to expect. Here they have everything from ibuprofen to hand sanitizer. So far the big issue for crews, poison ivy. Paramedics say there have been hundreds of cases reported. Meanwhile, the rain, good news on the east side of the fire near Galice. The storm helping slow fire growth. However, on the west side, the moisture making it harder for crews to make containment lines because everything is so damp, trying to avoid fighting the fire in steep terrain like this. They're the ones that are going direct, and it's steep, rugged, rugged terrain, and so it's a very slow process to get them through that area. No matter what area they go through, they have someone to back them up. Covering your news in Merlin, Whitney Clark, News 10. Several other fires are burning in our area. The Douglas Complex near Glendale is still the largest at nearly 49,000 acres. It's 87% contained. Two of the three fires making up the Whiskey Complex near Tiller are 100% contained. The other is 90%. In Northern California, crews are working on a five-acre fire in the Klamath National Forest. It was sparked by lightning. And activity is low at the Salmon River Complex thanks to the rain. However, wet roads are making it hard for firefighters to get to and from the front lines.